Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today I'm going to be doing an Emma Watson look and I love Emma Watson. Um, I think she is absolutely incredible and um, just what she has done with Harry Potter and that series that we all love so much all the way through growing up and now she's doing a bunch of stuff with He For She. If you don't know anything about He For She, I'll leave the website for that down in the description box below and you can guys can go and check it out. But the look I'm doing today is just kind of the typical Emma Watson look that we all think of when we think of Emma. It is going to be a really great base of foundation that's um, really a good match for whatever your skin tone is. Lots and lots of mascara and a nude lip. And so um, I just think it's going to be a really fun one to be able to wear out around town. It's an easy one that you can do even if you're not very good at makeup. And it's just something that's actually really wearable. So um, I've already started by doing a little bit of moisturizer. And I am going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow and the color Gobi as my foundation. So I'm using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush for my foundation brush now because it's got a firmer set of bristles than the Expert Face Brush. And so it's easier to spread out um, whatever product you're using. So I love it. And I just clean my brushes and they smell really good because I use a um, brush cleaner that smells like roses. So it's nice to have something like that on your face. For concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. Um, you guys know I love this. I use this all the time. And I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes. Mine's almost out. And on my chin and down my nose. Basically anywhere where there's spots or redness. So basically everywhere. I'm just gonna blend it in with one of these flat foundation brushes. So Emma's brows are really defined and really precise, but they're also bold and messy and they're basically everything that you want your eyebrows to be without trying too hard. So I'm just going to fill mine in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use the color dark brown. And I'm just going to, I've already brushed them up with the spoolie end of the brush. And I'm just going to fill in the front bits a little bit. And I have gaps kind of here and here. And just maybe, I'm not really elongate them anymore, but make them more pointed at the end side down here. And I like the Anastasia Brow Wiz because it comes in so many different colors. So you can really get a color that matches your eyebrows. But it's also like a really easy product to work with. So you can just be really precise with whatever you're doing. So I finished my eyebrows and um, something that you notice when you start to make YouTube videos is that um, your face has different variations in it. And Anyways, besides like making YouTube videos, your face isn't symmetrical. So my eyebrows are two different shapes just kind of naturally. So sometimes my eyebrows don't match exactly. And I'm okay with that because eyebrows are meant to be sisters and not twins. But if you're into the twins thing, then you do you and you make them that way. But my eyebrows are done and I've primed my eyelids with the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. I love this stuff. It's awesome. It's basically like concrete for any sort of eyeshadow that you're going to be using, whether it's a cream or um, a actual like a um, like a shadow or a pigment. Anything is just going to stick and stay, not crease. It's awesome. So I am using my Smashbox Wonder Vision palette. If I can get it flipped over and not blind you guys with its huge mirror. And I'm going to use this kind of like brown color. It's more of like a neutral and it doesn't have any shimmer in it. And I'm just going to actually just pop that in my crease. So I'm just going to take just like a rounded blending brush and put a little of that in my crease. And 
And you could do this with a brown or a gray or whatever kind of bronzer you use. Just any sort of like matte neutral is the look you want to go for. Because the look So the look really isn't about like making your eyeshadow exactly perfect, winging it out, doing eyeliner. It's more about just like uh, accentuating what you have and building up a lot of mascara. But I'm just going to kind of let my eyes sit and make sure that this isn't going to crease any bit or make sure that I like it the way that it is for right now. So I'm going to move on to contouring. And for that, I'm using the um, Tarte Smooth Operator Press Powder. I use the color tan. It's just a few shades darker than what I am. And I'm going to take it on a Real Techniques Bold Metals um, 301 contouring brush. I'm just going to take a little bit because I can always build it up, but I can't take any off without really ruining everything I've already done. And I'm just going to pop that right in this area where if you sucked in like you're making a fishy face like this where it would start and end and then right along my hairline as well and I'm just going to take kind of a fluffy um, powder brush and blend that out just so there's not any harsh lines Emma normally doesn't have a lot of contouring it's not very noticeable but it, she does add a little bit of shape to her face. So that's kind of the goal here is just to add some shape to your face. So I'm going to curl my lashes. These are just some Tarte eyelash curlers. And I'm just going to curl the top ones really, really well. And I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara. I go through tubes and tubes of it. This is probably like my sixth or seventh tube of it. It's amazing. Um, I'm just really just going to load up my eyelashes and starting from the root and just kind of doing like a little like wiggly motion to get a lot of mascara down there to make it so it's kind of clumpy but not clumpy in like a weird like way and not like to where you're trying to do spider lashes but just so you get a lot of the product onto your lashes and then just fanning the eyelashes out. I'm going to do a couple of layers of this just to make sure that there's a ton of product and the eyelashes are what stands out in this look. So my mascara is done and I did the same thing on my bottom lashes that I did on the top. I just kind of did a lot, really. I put a lot of mascara on, made sure they were really individualized, a little bit clumpy, and just made sure that the lashes were really the star of the show here. And I'm going to do a little bit of highlighter. This is a liquid cream highlighter and it's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. It's teeny tiny. It's really cute. And I'm actually going to pop some on the back of my hand and use 
another one of those flat foundation brushes to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones and down the center of my nose and on the top of my Cupid's bow. So for lipstick, you can kind of go two different ways. Emma is really kind of known for um, two different shades of lipstick. You can either go with a nude or like an orangey type red. So the nude I would pick is the L'Oreal Le Matte number 102. She's so matte. It's awesome. Any one of these formulations are great. It looks like this. And if you're going to go for a red, you can do um, a little bit of NARS Dragon Girl, which is this middle color here, and then mix it with a little bit of Calvin Klein 600 Alarm, which is this top color here, and just kind of layer it. But I think today I'm going to go for the nude, which is the L'Oreal um, 102 She's So Mad. I love this stuff. It's really easy to put on. It's comfortable to wear all day. You don't have to worry about it coming off. It's easy to reapply. You don't really need a mirror. It's just really just something that I could see Emma just kind of walking through London or New York or on a movie set just like boop boop. Okay, I'm done. I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to put this on. And blend it out with my fingers. And call it a day. So this is my finished kind of everyday Emma Watson inspired look. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. And I'll be back on Friday with a brand new video. Um, it's going to be my January loves list, which is inspired by In The Fro. If you know Victoria, she's awesome. I'll link her videos down in the description box below so you can go and check her out before Friday too. And I will see you then. Have a great week, guys. Bye.